So welcome to this lovely luxury two bedroom, two bath apartment here in Seapoint at the Azuri. Developed by the wonderful Signatura developers. It's 122 square meters and you can snatch it up for 40,000 Rand per month. It's got some lovely features that we'll go through throughout this tour. Let's just get right into it. Walking in through the entryway here at this beautiful apartment, you're greeted by the most wonderful open plan living room you can imagine. It's really utilized the space that it has in this apartment so effectively. The attention to detail is just phenomenal. You've got beautiful, modern, minimal finishings all around. And why don't we start by talking about this wonderful kitchen. This kitchen here has this magnificent granite island in the middle of everything. It's got beautiful cupboard space in the island. So it really optimizes space and makes everything really efficient. The island also has a hanging edge over here, makes it perfect for some bar seating. You can have a little breakfast here. You can make it a really nice place for entertaining right here. What's also really lovely about this kitchen is it's not just monotonous. It's not just one color throughout the whole kitchen, as you do see in a lot of modern apartments. What they've done really well is mix between some creams, grays, and whites, as well as the black of the fridge and the appliances, and really made it a color popping room that doesn't just drain and become monotonous. Behind me as well, just quickly, I want to talk about this really wonderful little wall. It's this beautiful little feature accent wall and it's just, it just really stands out in this home again. Like I was saying, it doesn't make all the colors drown out into each other. It's this nice little texture, it's a wonderful little pattern and it really contrasts between the grayish creams, the whites around me and as well as the dark grays over there. So before we jump into this tour, I just know that a lot of you watching this aren't subscribed. So if you would please subscribe and drop a like, it really lets me know that you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more of it. So let's just get on with the rest of the tour. Now, as you step into this kitchen, you'll see it's got this beautiful fridge over here. It's black, it really contrasts with everything else. You've got this cupboard space here under the island, as I said earlier, you've got this built in recessed microwave, which is just really an effective way to utilize space in an apartment like this and this size. You have the cupboard space all around here. You have this modern Bosch induction stove top over there, as well as the oven just beneath it, perfectly suited for a modern apartment such as this. Over here, you still have the cupboard space all underneath, as well as a washing machine. And you have this lovely little sink area over there with your really unique little faucet tap. It allows you to change the speed and the flow of the water, which is something I've just haven't seen so far on these tours. One more thing I want to point out is it has a built in hidden dishwashing machine over here, which if you just come around and you just see, you can easily just pull it out and you have a dishwashing machine. You can push it back in and again, it's hidden. No one can see it. It doesn't get in your way. It doesn't stick out. And as you step around the kitchen here into this side of the living room, they've broken up the space really nicely here with this lovely little dining table. It's a really nice minimal glass table. It seats four. It's just really nice to look out from here on this table onto the views, into your apartment. It's just a really lovely way to break up the lounge area and the kitchen area over there. And talking about the lounge, just look at it. It's so beautifully set up at the moment. And as I didn't say earlier, this apartment does come fully furnished. Most things that you see here will be included with the apartment if you choose to rent it, like this lovely U-shaped couch. Just look at it. It looks so comfy, so cozy, really nice and spacious. This is just the perfect home if you want to entertain your guests. So now as we come this side into the living room again, just to give you a different view, you've got these little consoles staged over there at the moment. Just a nice place to keep some things, maybe drinks. And behind the couch over here, you have this beautiful elongated mirror that really makes the room feel bigger. Again, an excellent use of space. And another little detail I want to notice is the way the roof actually gets higher in the lounge area. 
you can see there's just a little higher roof here, maybe about a foot, just really opens up the space, makes it seem more entertainment friendly, just a bigger area in general. There's just something that this home has managed to just capture so beautifully, to capture the extra space in a small apartment like this and really utilize it and make it so space efficient. In front of the couch here, you have this beautiful glass console coffee table. You've got a lovely two-piece glass coffee table with a rolling wooden table underneath it, good for storage, but also good for just anything you want to put on it, so it's snacks, drinks, maybe you can put games if you're having a games night. It's got these lovely little curtains here, which aren't too harsh, they're not too thick, they can still let in sunlight, but it really just dims the sun out for you. And one feature that I really want to point out is this really unique and awesome, awesome feature where you have these rolling blinds that can be controlled at the push of a button. You have these beautifully designed glass sliding pocketing doors right behind me over here. It really manages to combine the outside and the inside and really just give it an open living space area. Again, it really makes it feel extra spacious. Behind me here, you have these beautiful little console storage area above the TV here and this wooden floating TV stand, which is just really unique in my point of view. It's just, it's really nicely designed as space for this huge TV over here and again, light in this room is so key and so critical you have the sliding doors over there as well that lead out onto the outside space which behind me leads connects to the patio balcony area and talking about the patio and balcony area as you can see it's just really nice and secluded and private and that's achieved by this beautiful shrubbery and trees outside. It's also what I want to mention about it is that it's not yours, it's part of the building's property, so you don't have to manage the upkeep, it's all done for you, it still provides you that beautiful privacy and really keeps it separate but allows you to still get the most amazing views here that Seapoint has to offer. Now, let's get onto the patio. And as you step out here onto the balcony, you can see it's really lovely and spacious. It's got these nice seating areas over here where you can look out, drink some tea, drink some coffee in the morning, look out at the ocean there to my right, to this really nice private shrubbery you have over here, secluded from everyone else. It's nice and breezy out here. You've got the ocean views. You can hear the waves crashing. It's just at the same time, close enough to the main road and sea points where, you know, you're close enough to the shops. You can go get walking to shopping done. At the same time, you're by the ocean, which is why you want to come to sea points. Behind me over here as well, does extend um, down there all the way to the two bedrooms and into the living room over here, as I said. There's this lovely little rock feature here as well as this plant area. And you can really just make with the space what you want. It's really nice and spacious and something that you don't see in an apartment like this in sea point where you get all this outdoor area but at the same time it being really secluded. And then as we move down the hallway that we came in through, you have the guest bedroom here to my right. But just before we go and look in there, we're gonna just show you this cupboard space here that they've beautifully used to really optimize space in this apartment. Again, a theme you'll see throughout the apartment. You have about four cupboards here that you can store all your storage stuff. Just a really nice little space that you can keep separate from the rest of the house. And at the same time, it really blends in, doesn't stick out, but really useful and really helpful to store things away, things you don't want in your bedroom or in the spare bedroom. And then just behind me is the guest toilet over there. You can see there's this little setup here before the guest toilet. It's just a simple guest toilet right by the door, easy for your guests to use. Got a lovely mirror with recessed lighting behind it. Got a nice little nook there behind the toilet. Just add some extra texture and elements to the room. And as you'll see, it has the same textured wall that we'll be seeing at some point throughout this tour. And now onto the guest bedroom. So now that we've stepped into the first bedroom in this home, the guest bedroom, you can see it's got a really different mood to the rest of the apartment. You've got this lovely carpeted floor, it makes it feel soft, like a bedroom, somewhere you wanna sleep, come down at night to just really rest. It also just sounds really different to the rest of the home. The rest of the home is modern, it's you know minimal, it sounds a little bit, it sounds like that, like you can imagine, a bit echoey, but here it's really nice, warm, saturated. It's just a lovely room that you can come, lay your head down at night and just fall asleep. In front of the bed here, you have this lovely little dressing seats kind of thing where you can also use a 
storage. Behind me, you've got these cupboard space here. Something they've really used as well in this bedroom is the cupboard space, the built-in cupboard space. Here behind me, you've got a few cupboards and there next to you over there, you've got more cupboard spaces. So it's really, really spacious and allows for a lot of cupboard space, which is something unique in an apartment of this size and in this area. You're gonna to struggle to find a bedroom, especially a guest bedroom, with as much storage space as this in this area and at this size. You've also got the aircon in this room like you do throughout the rest of the house. You've got lovely lighting which doesn't make it too warm or too bright and it also is an ensuite bathroom just like the master. Another lovely little feature of this bedroom is it's got a beautiful little sliding door that leads out to the balcony and outdoor area and you can really use the space to make it your own. At the moment there is a boxing bag set up. You can do something similar, you know, make it a little workout area, workout from home, you know, during these lockdown times. It's really important to stay active, stay fit and this outdoor area it gives you that away from the rest of the home. The bedroom also has this nice little storage space, storage shelf above the bed. It's unique, you can really make it your own. You know, you can put decorations, maybe some storage, anything you really want to make this room unique and something that you can call your own. The bed is also really big. It's a nice queen size bed. It's got a lovely little base here. It's a bit bigger. It makes it seem more cushioned in and more like you're getting engulfed by the bed. Really comfy, really cozy. And now I think it's time we look into the bathroom. Behind me is the ensuite to the guest bedroom. You have a huge shower and this lovely floating marbled vanity, which also acts as storage space. Above the vanity, you have this beautifully large mirror, which really allows extra light into not only the bathroom, but when it's open, the bedroom as well. It's really nice and big. You can see everything going on. You can stand over there in front of me, check your outfit out in the morning. It's a lovely mirror, lovely bathroom, really modern, really minimal. The contrast of the floor is also something I really like. The shower as well has a lovely shower head. It's a little step up from the rest of the bathroom, makes you feel private, secluded while you're in the shower. And now finally, we're entering the beautiful master bedroom in this apartment. Come on in and let's give it a look. So the first thing you notice when you enter this master bedroom is the beautiful space it affords you, but at the same time, keeping it really, really cozy in the room. So what you notice here is they've utilized space really well with this built-in cupboard space over here and then right behind you over there there's some extra cupboard space this bedroom just like the other has a carpeted floor which is really really soft nice to step on something that you really want in a bedroom it makes it feel cozy and really homely even though you're in a modern finished apartment like this one if you look over there to my right you can see this room has got a beautiful accent wall it's this nice gray it's a beautiful little texture compared to the rest of the room which is white and a bit cream this room just like the others is air conditioned super important in cape town just behind the curtains over here on my left is this beautiful little repurposed room that the current owners have made into an office space we all know working from home is really important today and in this little space over here they've made it perfect for just working from home They've blacked out the roof so that this harsh sunlight doesn't enter the room. But at the same time, there's an open balcony door that leads out to the balcony. So it's that really indoor, outdoor living, but this time it's in your workspace. And if you want, you can close the curtain, make it really nice and dark, cozy, productive for your work. Or if you're someone who likes to work with an outdoor breeze, this room also caters for that. You can get nice air flowing through the door, flowing into your workspace, cooling everything down, just making it really feel like you're working with the sea breeze behind you. You can hear the waves crashing in. And just in front of me over there is the ensuite bathroom, which we can go through now. It's a beautiful little bathroom. It's got both a shower and a bath, which is really rare, especially in an apartment of this size and really, really unique. Something that really adds a different element to this apartment compared to anything else you could be looking at on the market. It's a beautiful, spacious bathroom. They've managed to incorporate both a bath and a shower, as I was saying earlier. It's this nice gray floor, which adds a real texture difference to the bedroom. It's really superbly designed. As you can see, it's got a beautiful marble finish on the vanity and it's got this lovely mirrored cupboard space above the vanity. It's really nice and spacious, can fit a lot of toiletries in and it serves a double purpose. Again, utilizing the space so well in this apartment. The bathtub is really spacious and something that can easily fit two people if you want to have a romantic bath, light some candles or just relax and wind down after a busy day. The shower as well, it's really big. It's nice to be in. It's got the beautiful glass door separating it. It's just a step up from the rest of the bathroom and it's got a lovely shower head as well to make sure that your whole body be getting warm and one cool feature i do really want to point out right now is this extra little lights setting that you have in the bathroom so if you can go just take a step forward and give me a look when you turn this on you can get this beautiful little orange recessed lights behind the mirrors over there and when you turn the main lights off it looks even better it adds that extra layer of luxury and just uniqueness to this apartment
you all so much for coming to Seapoint and touring this beautiful property with us. I want to give a special thanks to Josh Parsons, aka Camp Spay Guy, and Team Harcourt Atlantic for letting us come through and give an exclusive viewing of this home. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and as I said earlier, if you did, please drop a subscription and a like. It really lets me know that you're enjoying the content and want to see some more. 